There are a variety of forms that you can create and access. So let's just have a look at a few of them. For example, I'm going to click on the table TBL student and what I'd like to show you is what they call a split form. If we click the create tab in the ribbon, there's this forms group and we've looked at form and form design and blank form in previous and form wizard in previous stages and in earlier parts of this stage. But what I want to explore are the more forms. Under more forms you have a split form and a split form is quite good because what it does is it gives you the full details about a particular record at the top and then it gives you all the records at the bottom. So you've sort of got a form and then a, a table at the bottom, a data sheet. And this is really quite handy. I'd like to save this form just by hitting the save button on my quick access toolbar as FRM student. And close this form. Another type of form that's really quite nice is a data sheet form. It looks very much like a table. I'm going to click on the table result, TBR result, and go to create in my ribbon and go back to more forms, some of the buried away ones, and choose data sheet. The data sheet looks very much like a table, but it's actually quite helpful when designing forms. And you'll notice this particularly when we start doing main forms and subforms. But I'd like to save this form just by hitting the save button on my quick access toolbar as FRM result and close the form. Another type of form that's quite nice is a multiple item form. And for this I'm going to click on the table assignment, go back to create and go back to more forms and choose multiple items. And here's my multiple items form, which is a nice sort of continuous way of viewing the data. I'm going to save this form as FRM assignment and OK and close the form. So there are three very different types of forms that you can create and access.